Hi friends, I have created Ubuntu 80.04 for Linux VM in VirtualBox. So if you check the storage of this VM, you can see it has VDI file. Its size is virtual size is 10 GB and actual size is 2.78 GB. So if you go to the VM, let me go to the VM, and if you run if you run df5 and h, there you can see slash tau sda2 it's 9.8 gb and used 4.4 gb and available 4.9 gb so i am going to extend this uh, vda file so first we need to find the path of this vda file so then we can start the resize process so here you can see this is a path it's in this path here you can see the VDA so let me go to the folder in that folder here you can see that VDA file let me go to the terminal so if you run PWD you can see so now I am in that path. So if you run ls hyphen ls search, you can see this is a file and its size is 2.8 GB. So I am going to resize it. So first I am going to take the copy of this uh, VDA file so using vbox manage clone hd command. Because here is the VDA file, original file. There this is the name of the new VDA file format. Let me run it. So there is some issue. I think this is because this VM is running. Uh, let me stop this VM. So that first we need to stop the VM then run this command again see now it's working so if you are seeing this error that means it is because of the vm is running so first we need to stop the vm okay it's done now i am going to let me run ls uh, ls hyphen ls ls again now you can see the new vdi file here its size is 2.8 gb so i am going to resize it so I, for that I am going to use vbox manage modify hd command then name of a new vda file then resize to 12 gb so we already seen that the size of that old file was 10 gb this is the current size of the disk so I am going to change it to 12 gb ok just I am going to just resizing let me run it ok it's run after that if you run ls hyphen ls search here you cannot see that change because we just changed the virtual size so if you want to see the change just go to the vm settings and storage select controller SATA then click on this plus button select hard disk then select choose existing disk so there you will see the new So there you have to click on add. Then, then you, you need to select the new disk VDA disk which we cloned and resized. This is the resized disk. Okay, new for dot VDA. Select it, click on open. that file you can see here then click on choose okay done so now you can see it is not attached to the VM and here you can see the virtual size and actual size here click on ok now it's attached 
then go to settings again and go to storage so now this both disk is attached to the same em you can see attached to this attached to this here it's 10 gb size here the new version with resized to same disk resized to 12 gb so let me still delete the first one so i don't need it i need the resized one then click on ok then start the vm so if you start the vm actually uh, there you cannot see that resized part because it's not allocated to the partition so we need to use some partition tool to allocate the un unallocated disk to the system partition so let me go to the vm and let me confirm it so if inside the vm if you run df hyphen h so it still is showing 9.8 gb only nothing changed sudo fds hyphen l so that also not showing anything so so i'm going to stop it then go to the settings again then storage then at this time we need to select controller id then click on this plus button then click on choose disk so here you have to select the partition tool iso file so here i am using g parted so you have to download this iso file then just click on add disk image then the select the downloaded iso file click on open click on choose then click on the this line then click select live studio dvd then click on ok then start the vm then it will boot uh, from the iso file which we selected press enter So you will get a window like this so here just select the default one then type 33 that is the default for english language then select first one zero that is the default for start x so this then you will get a gui of cheap partner So if you are getting a warning like this click on fix then here you can see the newly added size or resized the disk here it's in unallocated format so we need to add this unallocated 1.72 gb to the slash dev sta2 so just select slash dev sta2 then click on resize then here you can change it to 12 GB then select MIB then click on resize okay now we can see this unallocated has changed now it's showing only 1 MB and here you can see it has increased to 11.72 GB so you have to click on apply to save this change okay our operation successfully completed close it then shut down the vm power off the machine then go to the settings storage then just remove this line you can click on this remove button you are removing that iso file so it will not boot from that file again then uh, click on ok then start the vm okay then go to the vm 
uh, login i'm going to login it then run df hyphen h now you can see the size of slash dev sda2 has increased to 12 gb earlier it was showing 9.9 .9 something now it's you can see 12 gb and used is 4.4 gb and available is again increased to 6.5 gb so, okay so this way we, we can resize virtualbox vda it is please subscribe my channel please like and share the video